Um, first, following up on Jeff's question regarding China and Taiwan, China has grown increasingly aggressive under this administration. And then now we're set to start trade talks back with them. Um, there was concern when President Biden took office about his son's business dealings with China. He was supposed to divest himself of his stake in a Chinese private equity firm in December with ties to the Chinese Central Bank. As of April, he had not yet done that. And at some point, you are going to get back to us on that. Do you have an update on that? Has he dissolved that interest now? I'd point you to his representatives on that. He doesn't work in the administration. I would say, though, Emerald, that, uh, and I think you're referring today to the announcement, uh, this speech by Ambassador Tai about phase one. And what I think it's important to note here is that this approach uh, definitely differs from the approach of the prior administration, in our view. Uh, their approach hurt select sectors of the American economy and wasn't targeted to address strategic problems we have. These initial steps will help, uh, we're taking, are going to realign our trade policies towards, uh, from the PRC toward our priorities. And that's the objective of this president. It's just the first stage in this process. Obviously, the ambassador gave an extensive speech today. As we enter into this, though, the president has said during the campaign that none of his family will have any business relationship with anyone that relates to a foreign corporation or a foreign country. Wouldn't it be assuring to the American <laughs> people as we head into this if they just let the American people know if Hunter has divulged himself of well, that? Well, again, sure I, I, I conveyed to you, and then I think I'm going to have to move on, that you should no, talk to well, you should talk to his representatives. And there's no reason to yell. I'm certainly not yelling. You should talk to his representatives. That remains his policy. He's been working to wind that down. Beyond that, I think would talk to his representatives. I follow up on what Peter asked regarding Dr. Fauci. Dr. Sure. Fauci has indicated that in the time of COVID, people should be willing to give up personal choice or personal civil, civil liberties for the greater good. We're also seeing very disturbing images out of Australia. So first off, I want to know, does the president agree with that statement by Dr. Fauci? And then secondly, does President Biden support what the Australian government is doing in their country? And would he consider similar measures in the United States if case count goes up, continues to go up over the winter? The, the president has been pursuing our own policies here in the United States, which has led to nearly 80 percent of the American public getting at least one shot uh, and bringing the cases of COVID down dramatically over the past several months. So we'll continue to abide by and conduct our own policies. 